there everyone, this is Avra with EdTech Teacher. Welcome. In this short video tutorial, I want to show you how I've been creating photo collages lately using Book Creator. So besides the fact that the panels, which I'll show you in a second, make it super easy to create a photo collage, what I'm loving about Book Creator is the share screenshot function. So you find that inside the eye when you're exploring the properties of a page. So for example, right now I don't have anything selected on this page here in Book Creator. So if I tap on the eye up at the top right, if you notice, if you, scroll, if you kind of scroll with your eyes all the way down to the bottom, there's a function that's called Share Screenshot. When I tap on that, I get all sorts of options. I can airdrop this single page as an image to my MacBook. I can save the image directly to the camera roll, or I can also push it out to any number of apps. So this is a feature that I'm loving because I feel like with kids, it's something that they can easily create just a single page that then could be submitted into, for example, a Seesaw class or into a Google Slideshow or into Google Classroom. Um, and so there just seems to be endless possibilities. But just to show you, if I click on Save Image and then I hop out and head to my camera roll, Here it is. You can see I've done it a couple times. So let me just kind of back up a little bit and show you how I created this photo collage. Um, basically, just create a new page. And I'm going to go ahead and use the eye here and, and turn the background back to white. And then if I use the plus sign, I can simply choose panels. And in the interest of time, I'll go ahead and just do one that has just these two panels. Here you can see there's an image icon and a camera icon. The image icon is going to pull from your camera roll. <clears throat> so let's see, I'll go in and take a couple pictures, grab the pictures that Cameron and I took yesterday. We were creating a different book in Book Creator. So you can see how easy it is to just pull pictures right into these panels and they fit beautifully just like in a pic collage or a, a picture collage, photo collage kind of app. Um, additionally, I could have, if I had wanted to, taken a picture. And I have a case on my, on my iPad right now, so it's not an ideal situation. But if I wanted to, I could take this picture of this jar of worm just brought in from outside. So if I wanted to, I could say use photo and very quickly just pull a picture in. So as I do workshops um, with teachers, we often use the panels to go out and take, a, take several pictures, do a, a a shape scavenger hunt or do a scavenger hunt for things that start with the letter T, things like that. So endless possibilities there. And then from there, you can go ahead and embellish by adding in speech bubbles. You can add in some stickers. You can do all sorts of things. Obviously, add text. So lots and lots of options there. And then again, just as a reminder, um, you simply click on the eye. Let me show you what happens though. If you have something selected and you click on the eye or tap on the eye, you'll notice that we're able to explore the properties of this text right now. So we're looking at things like color and things like that. And so it may be a little bit confusing, but what you need to do is up here at the top, you need to head over to page. So this was the properties of the text, but then you also always have the option to explore the properties of the page. And that would be where you could put in a background if you wanted to, things like that. And that's where this magical share screenshot function is. Again, very easily can just pop it down into my camera roll, head out and find it right here in my camera roll. So now I can do anything I want with that. So what I'm loving about this basically is just that Book Creator for me has become kind of a page creator or an image creator on my iPad. And I just wanted to share that with all of you today. If you have any ideas on how you're using Book Creator, I would sure love to hear them. Or if you're also creating pages and then exporting them out, pushing them out to other apps um, in some neat way, please email me and, and reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, you guys.